what's going on y'all welcome back to another video i want to talk about something i've been noticing a lot on youtube lately and that's a lot of youtube drama in the black youtube section now i like a lot of well i watch a lot of the black youtube channels for different reasons and a lot of times they clash they go at it for whatever reason I'm not going to get into details about it. I, I kind of know already because I watch it. Like I say, I watch all of them and I could kind of piece together, you know, what made it come to so much drama amongst them. But what I want to talk about is one of the biggest misconceptions of the drama. And that is, you know, people just don't want to get along. People don't want to see you do better than the next. Jealousy and stuff like that. And I don't look at it like that. I look at it like, you know, when it comes to people in general, you're going to have to, at some point, separate the real from the fake. You're going to have to separate good from evil. And until then, you will not be able to coexist in this, you know, this imaginary world of just peace and harmony. Like, until then, it's just impossible to happen. And it's not going to happen. And until people, you know, come to realize that it's just not that cut and dry, it's it don't work like that. You're going to continue to see these type of things happen, you know, amongst different people. And it doesn't matter whether it's on a platform or not. That's in real life. That's like real life facts. Everybody is not going to get along. Stop trying to force people to get along with somebody. Why do you think I do these videos about narcissists? There are so many videos out there about people and, you know, about narcissists. And that's the reason why we do these type of videos to bring awareness to those who just, you know, don't know that this is really going on. It's, it really happens to people. And we have to deal with, you know, people have to deal with that type of abuse. So what makes you think that just because you know, people have YouTube channels, they get a lot of views. I don't care if you have, you know, 1 million subscribers. That doesn't exclude you from being a toxic person. I mean, you know, narcissists are known for wearing masks. And when they put on their mask, they can be whoever they want to be. And they have a lot of people fooled. So, you know, I don't judge people by based on race. Like, just because we're all black, you know, we could do this, we could do the damn thing and just bring each other together and all this kind of stuff. I don't judge like yesterday on YouTube. I mean, I'm sorry, yesterday on Facebook, they have this lady and she commented on a video that I commented on about the guy who was um jogging and he was shot. And I know y'all heard about it and everything. And so the two guys who who chased them and shot them or whatever, um, they have not been arrested yet. And so this happened in Atlanta and they are protesting as of today. And so with that video, people are, like, before I watched the video, I commented under the, I'm scared to watch it. And what I mean by that is the fact that I cringe when I know what's going to happen. If I know somebody is about to get ran over by a car, or somebody is about to get, you know, attacked by a wild animal or something just anything somebody about to fall off a bill just things like that very graphic scenes i i cringe at it it's hard for me to watch and it's like i have to brace myself for whatever i'm about to tune into and so that it doesn't matter who it is black white it does not matter to me so that's what i put under the video i said i'm scared to watch it and i didn't feel like i had to go into details to her why i said i'm scared to watch it so she put, she commented on the mine, my comment, and she said, no, don't be scared to watch it. In other words, she said, keep that same energy you did when you made that comment the other day. Now, <laughs> let me take y'all back to the video, dog. I know what she was talking about. So in our city, there was a guy who, uh, who shot and killed a police officer, what, two weeks ago? And the police of like two police went to him, went to his house to arrest him because of a domestic violence um, report. 
and he had supposedly beat up his he went to his his girlfriend he went to his fiance's parents house to confront her about whatever whatever so they started arguing out in the yard and she was like you need to leave and stuff like that so you know we don't have the backstory to whatever happened but a lot of us could pretty much you know put two and two together and know that they just been you know it could have been a bad bad argument that day that just led to him just losing his mind completely like he just was all the way off at this point to where he um went to his car got a gun came back burst into the house and he went through her dad and was like where she at where she at you better tell me where she at or you know i'm gonna shoot all y'all whatever whatever and so i guess the dad was like you need to leave out here so we weren't there to see it i don't know what happened and nobody knows what happened in the house but what we do have we know happened is that he didn't have no right going into those people's house he don't have no right like barging into someone's house like who gonna let you get past them to get to their daughter to hurt their daughter like so we know the dude had a damn problem so he shot and killed that girl daddy after he shot and killed her daddy they say she was hiding out in the bathtub she he left the house and went back to his house police made it to his house and it was a standoff uh, that went on for probably i think a little bit more than two hours so he was barricaded in his own house the police had been trying to get him out the house they barricaded his house and stuff like that and um i mean they surrounded his house they called out the SWAT team and everything and you a lot of people in the neighborhood was going live so i seen it on their videos about him you know, just showing the police interacting on the um, loudspeaker, just telling him to, you know, surrender and stuff like that. So, like I said, they went on for a little past two hours. And, um, you know, I just look at the dude, like, I look at a lot of things. Being what I've, you know, after going through what I've been through with, and I know this video may sound all over the place, so I apologize for that. I might not even leave it up. Um being at the so much that i have went through dealing with a narcissist learning what that means being able to you know really just it, like having a hard time expressing what i went through dealing with it and you know putting it in a video and sharing it with people and hoping that you know the way i deal with it the best i can could help other people I look at everything now based on a psychological point of view. I, I'm not going to even lie. I judge everybody based on their mental state of mind. And I looked at it like the dude was a narcissist. He was a covert narcissist and he was also a borderline like psychopath. Because it's like i went back and looked through his facebook pages and you can tell a lot through pictures that you see and stuff and it's like she just praised the ground this man walked on and i post a picture on my page and i said what what got into his head and made him do this so anyway before i get into that he ended up killing one of the police and then he shot the other one so one of them died and the other one is still in the hospital but He's stable. He's doing better. He'll probably be released from the hospital soon if he's not already out. But the thing is, when he shot one of the police, he came out the house and stood over him and shot him repeatedly. So, like I say, I look at it like the dude was just flat out crazy. He's a narcissist and a psychopath. And I said, under the comment that I left, under the other person's page, when the lady, she left the comment replying to me, I said like um what got into him like it's just sad they must have had a fight or something or whatever whatever but that's like i didn't put everything that i felt about it under the comment i'm just not about to write a full paragraph i don't need to do that you know in order for her to see me as you know like stop trying to pick my mind does it even really matter what i feel anyway so she said, I, she said, no, because they, where is that same outrage when such and such person was killed? Now, I know the lady. She's Alton Sterling's aunt. Y'all know Alton Sterling was killed a few years ago, and it was wrong the way they killed him and all of that. I did a video on it. 
In that case, it's really not over because they go back to court for that like next year. So anyway, and she was like, keep that same energy. She said something to that effect, like keep that same energy like everybody had. Like, I'm not even talking about this is a whole nother different case. And this doesn't exclude the fact that what he did was wrong. But I am saying that it's like she was saying, like, in other words, stop trying to take up for the white police. I'm like, it don't have nothing to do with that. I'm looking at the dude and looking at his whole body language and just everything about him moments leading up to him shooting and killing a police. And I said, this is what I said. I said, covert narcissists love to be in control, but hate to be controlled. That's what I said. I don't know how she got from that, that I am taking up. Like, she don't even know what I'm talking about. And that's one of the biggest misconceptions of people who don't really understand this type of quote-unquote personality disorder. I still call it a, a whole spiritual thing dealing with a narcissist. But anyway, she don't even know what I was talking about. And she just got so on the defensive side and it always goes back to her nephew who i'm not even talking about i'm not talking about him i'm not talking about the police who killed him blaine salamone like we know he was racist we know that he had some evil like just because i didn't put stuff on facebook about that doesn't mean i didn't feel that way i don't owe you an explanation to how i feel about anything i don't owe that to nobody and so I just did this whole video just to say there's a huge misconception when it comes to like judging people for who they are mentally. I do not judge you based on your color. I don't give a damn who gets mad about it. That's just me. I'm going to stand on it until the day I die. I'm going to judge you based on what you give me as a person and what's in your spirit. And if I see you for being someone who has just this very evil streak about them or a manipulating streak or you're a very toxic individual i'm gonna call you out on that i'm gonna label you as that until you show me something different and i only spoke on what i seen in the video and like i say on this facebook page this man's facebook page post that i seen you know you could kind of read through the lines you could sometime i could just see things and just be able to like determine everything about it just by looking at it. You know, some people just just have that in their spirit. And some people don't. Some people are fooled by a lot of things that they see. I'm not one of them. I used to be that way, but I woke up. I woke up and it's very little that can get past me now without me questioning it. And so, like I say, one thing I noticed about the dude is that he seemed very controlling, manipulative. Like, he had a lot of people fooled. We were on the outside looking in. It looked like we was looking at this beautiful, happy family. The whole while, this was a very toxic and sick in the mind individual who shot and killed two police. Well, he killed one of the police. They come there to do their job. They were doing their job. Period. No excuses for him shooting and killing that man. I don't care what color he is. I don't care, you know, if the police were black, would they have been saying, like, would she have been saying the same thing? Because I've seen so much, um, you know, outpouring of love and support and heartbreak from what has happened from that shooting from black people in support of the, um, you know, the police who died. So it doesn't have nothing to do with race all the time. Everybody don't look at things based on race. And I'm one of them. I just don't. And I don't care who don't like me for it. And you know, you can unfollow me for it. You can unsubscribe, whatever. I don't care about that. I'm going to be me. I'm going to look at things the way I want to look at it. And so I just had to make that known to her. Like she left a comment talking about something thing. You know, like, keep that same energy you had three days. Girl, first of all, it wasn't three days ago. I made that comment last minute, and then I turned the notifications off because I'm the type of person, I'm not going back and forth with nobody on how I stand on something. And I don't have a problem, you know, being in the wrong. Like, if 
I can stand corrected if you can actually teach me something, something that is an eye-opening experience. I'm all for it. I'm not going to be right about everything. I already know that. I'm not a know-it-all. I don't think I know it all. I speak on things based on my experience with certain individuals. And a lot of time, you know, you really have to look closely at a person and stop giving everybody the damn benefit of the doubt because they're super nice to you that that's just who they are. Just like with this YouTube what they call it you know youtube beef in the black sector and all this kind of stuff like i'm subscribed to a lot of some of them i don't subscribe to but i still watch them depending on what the topic is that they talking about in their videos but a lot of them are toxic and they are messy and you gotta call them out on it and i come in neek at night for calling out the bullshit and separating the real from the fake and I stand behind her on I'm, I'm a big supporter of that. And, you know, I'm glad that she's strong enough not to back down to everybody going up against her for calling it out. Stop with all this, we need to get along because we black. You got to separate good from evil, period. It, it's not going to work. It's just not, it doesn't go good together. You got to do one or the other. And with me, you're going to be either with me or against me on this. Now, if you are against me on it and you want to, you know, continue to deal with certain individuals who I choose not to deal with, that's fine. But don't try to bring us together. Because once I say I'm done with something, I'm done with it. And I'm doing this for my own peace and healing. It doesn't have nothing to do with you. Like, you are crossing the lines when you are trying to i'm gonna start looking at you as a narcissist because you're being a little bit controlling tell me what you gonna i'm not gonna stop until i bring y'all together you know stop trying to force this whole peace thing like it's not meant to be it's just not meant to be so i just want to make this video real quick i was gonna go live and i'm like i don't need to go live they'll watch it and i might not even keep this up because again i know this video was all over the place I just wanted to get that off my chest. I know sometimes I have a bad, uh, you know, a hard time explaining myself. And a lot of y'all might want to tune out like, oh my God, I know this already. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm going to get better <laughs> at articulating myself and explaining myself better. But um, anyway, thank y'all for watching and I'll talk to you soon.